he's gone from under the pitch. And your team this evening, led out by the match officials, referee Ruben Ricardo, assisted by Abdul Kabir and his assistant Fadi Mansour, and the teams in all sky blue. Tilton Town, number one, Jack Bycroft, number two, Joe Budd, number three, Jay Fulson, number four, and captain Nick Grimes, number five, Dan Ball, number six, Jake Wano, number seven, Ollie Chamberlain, number eight, Lord J Lloyd James, number ten, Nick Bakuti, number sixteen, Zach Smith, and number twenty, Dave Sims Burgess. And for the Rebels in Amber and Navy. Number 22, in God, Queen Elizabeth II. Number 23. Thank you, and enjoy the match. Uh, it's Fulston on the far side. Forward again. Here is Burgess. And it's an effort wide from about 25 yards out. First shot of the game. No real danger for Fulston. Yeah, it's surprising. Chess. Six games are lost. Here's a chance though for Torton. They're coming forward here. Trying to get away. Styles ankles put his foot in. And they've just got to clean up there. Tog work and clear. But Torton just having a good one two on the edge of the box and making the way forward. Bud now, about 30 yards out. Hits it with his left foot. And it's a shot just over the bar from Bud. Second shot of the game for Torton, who are looking the more dangerous team so far. Forward by Wells, trying to find one of his runners and has found Harris on the left hand side. Harris with the cross, it's a great volley cross and it's well caught by Jack Bycroft. That encouraged the crowd. Taunton are once again just trying to catch Slough when they go forward and trying to exploit gaps in the defence. Well headed away by Togwell, but it's back in Taunton hands. Nick McCooty, about 25 yards out. Holding the ball up and finding Chamberlain down the left. Ball comes in, into the box! Oh, it's a shocking miss! It's an absolutely shocking miss from Taunton from two yards out. I think, I, I'm not clear who that was, but someone's flown into the back post and somehow managed to pull it over the bar. On Eden Pruti. Fulton has the ball then, just beyond the halfway line here for Taunton. He delivers it forward. It's a really good ball, actually. And we've got a man in the box. Still full for Bud. And Joe Bud with the effort that just swung wide. Another decent opportunity for Taunton. Bud running onto it from the edge of the box. He's in. Um, and he was the goalkeeper who was um, uh, slightly, well, I say slightly abused, but uh, um, uh, angered Jean, our uh, good lady who works on the front door. Great chance here for uh, Taunton. Indeed, a shot there over the bar. That's uh, 10. That was uh, Nick McCutty, was it? Running on Running to it. Out of real chance in this opening 33 minutes, which does actually reflect that game against Hampton and Richmond 10 days ago when Slough didn't really have a proper chance to a 70th minute. Might have a chance now. Benyu's got in. Oh, and the goalkeeper's gathered it. It was flicked on, and Bycross is straight out of his goal. Grimes has come forward 10 yards, puts the ball in the box, but again, well defended from a Slough perspective, handling the aerial balls well. It's Hollis with the header away. And maybe a counter attack here for Slough. Cool forward, Jack on the far side, into the box now. He's cool. Oh, and the shot's been blocked by his own man. Oh, what a chance. Aaron Cool from inside the box with the effort. And I think that was Ben Harris who accidentally blocked the shot. I can't remember off the top of my head where Max Wilson saw this. Leatherhead, I think it was, that he went to. Uh, Lynch corner, ball comes in. Oh, and McCooty tried to get away. The ball bounced in the area and eventually it's um, siphoned up by the goalkeeper. There goes Hollis's throw towards about the penalty spot. Headed away, might fall loose for Harris. And Ben Harris with the shot, which hits the side netting. For a second there, it looked like it snuck in. This rain beating down on Arbor Park. The 3G pitch just sucking it all up at the moment. It's a shot there, good effort. Really good effort. In down to Aaron Cool on the right-hand side. Cool trying to get the ball in the box, but it's not a great cross and it's intercepted easily. But the clearance isn't great. Falls for Lynch, about 30 yards out. Lynch on the right-hand side. And it's well won back there by Fulston. Lynch does get a ball back into the box, though. And there's a head over the bar. They've got the attacking corner for them here. Towards the back post. 
flicked on, and McCooty's in there. Oh, and so was Jarvis. He got his head on that, and his head are just inches past the post. Most of the people in the stadium with us here in the main stand. Here come Taunton then. On the edge of the box, it's Joe Bud with the shot, but that goes wide. Aaron Cool just trying to get this ball in the middle. It's well won by Benyon. Here's Togwell. A man through on the left. Got the odds on well. Onto his right foot. And he fires it over the bar. Ball. Benyon still got it. Good run from him. Keeps it alive for Togwell. Jackman's here on the right hand side. Lynch is wide and he's found Lynch. Lynch on the right hand side. Lynch just trying to dribble inside. Has to go back to Togwell. Togwell with a decent cross. Really decent cross! And a goal for Snow! Is that Elliot Benyon in the back post? With nine minutes to go, Slough have once again put on the late show. Big goal at the back post and they lead Taunton. It was Elliot Benyon. Launched forward by Bycroft. It's not a good ball at all. And it fell nicely there for... Um, it's false for Togwa now. Flick forward on the far side. Could Slough get a second goal here? On the left is Goddard. He doesn't get the ball in. Ball does come in, headed away. Falls for Togwell, trying to keep it alive. Here's Aaron Cool with the shot and it's blocked. And the keeper can just prevent a corner. The ball's coming to the area and Jarvis goes down. Falls on his far side now for uh, Fulston. He's kept it alive. Here's Joe Budd, edge of the box with a shot. It was going wide, but it was well saved by Reese Forster. On the kick taker, it's in the box. Down goes Bycroft. Ball comes into the centre, flicked away. It's not come out, it's not over yet. It might come back into the box. It is back in. Bycroft getting his foot in. Oh, and eventually the ball's cleared. And eventually the full time whistle is blown. And horrible, stomach churning moments at the end as Taunton fought for the equaliser. But Elliot Benyard's goal was enough for Slough. They have won 1 0. It wasn't always the prettiest game. 